go ahead and jump into this topic of dealing with unprofessional account managers and staff and coordinators. So have you ever experienced an account manager, staff and coordinator being rude, late to respond to texts, or just downright unprofessional? I've heard from many EXPs about their dealings with account managers and the bad experiences in which they've had. So as an EXP, how do you deal with this type of account manager or staff and coordinator? And what parameters can you put in place to ensure that you are still able to effectively manage an event while also remaining professional and true to who you are without losing your sanity or integrity. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Tune in because we're going to dive deep into this subject of dealing with account managers and staff and coordinators. All right, EXPs, it's Jay and we're back. Today we're gonna to be discussing how to deal with account managers and staff and coordinators. As a brand ambassador, team lead, product specialist, mascot, MC, tour manager, assistant tour manager, I can name all the positions within the industry, but as an EXP, you will have to deal with an account manager or staff and coordinator at some point, whether it's to confirm your event details, to ensure that you are prepared to execute your event, or to communicate any concerns or issues with the client. Ensuring that you build a positive rapport with this individual and that you two are able to work together to ensure the success of an overall program is achieved is essential. So I'm gonna provide you with my top three tips that you need to implement as an EXP to ensure that you maintain a great rapport when dealing with account managers and staff and coordinators. So, let me start from the bottom make sure you guys stay for this whole video because these are some great tips and let's jump right into it with tip number three making sure that you effectively communicate yes i cannot say this enough everybody does not interpret information the same way i mean there's a book by a guy by the name of gary chapman wrote about the different love languages so if everybody speaks different love languages you can imagine how everybody communicates differently on a day-to-day -day basis, especially in a working environment. While you may verbally say something, how that person receives it and how they respond to the information which they may have been given is going to vary person to person. So with that being said, whenever you have issues which arise on site, it's important that you take the initiative and you communicate effectively call the account manager and staff and coordinator and let them know you know if you're encountering any issues on site and if you're dealing with a on-site contact or even the account manager or staff and coordinator and they're giving you a hard time don't go zero to a hundred real quick on somebody learn how to control your anger learn how to find different ways to resolve conflicts and at the end of the day you are representing yourself but you're also representing the brand as well as the experiential marketing and or staff at agency so being able to communicate effectively and not have an angry tone a nonchalant tone is important having a solution to a problem oftentimes assists and will ensure that you both of you are working towards the common goal of resolving any issues on site however effective communication is key remember what you say and what is done may be two different things actions always speak louder than words and people receive and reciprocate information differently so while it varies from person to person ensure that you're always putting parameters in place to effectively communicate which brings me to my next point tip number two put everything in writing yes it may seem like we don't work in a corporate environment because we're out here executing events and engaging with consumers and having fun and and doing all these cool things but as an exp you always got a cya cover yo y'all know that a word i don't cuss but yeah y'all know that a word cover your booty i'm gonna just say that so as an exp you always have to make sure that you put everything in writing if you have any issues on site, any concerns that you need to address, make sure you take the time to write the email, 
Yes, it's time out of your day. Yes, you may not feel like doing it at the time, but while it's fresh on your mind, while the issues are still pertinent and you know, you have all the thoughts, the processes, the solutions, the issues, you know, front and center and you're going through it and you're thinking about it, it's important to go ahead and put it in writing. Don't just take someone's word verbally. If they tell you, hey, Jay, account manager tells you, hey, Jay, don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to do it. No. Take the extra step, the extra initiative to put things in writing via email and confirm. Hey, so you told me that you were going to handle A, B, C, and D. Just wanted to confirm and ensure we were on the same page. Something as simple as that will save you time. It will save you stress and headaches in the long run. So take the time. I know it's extra time out of your day and put things in writing and send an email to the appropriate party so that everybody will stay abreast on any event changes, any um, on-site contact changes, or just any concerns or issues that you have about a particular program, event, tour manager um, that you may be executing you know, at that current time. And my last tip and my top tip, be patient. Oftentimes, and this goes really for EXPs who have been executing events for five to 10 plus years, being patient is key. If you've been executing events for a while, chances are you may be working with an experiential marketing or staff agency who hired an account coordinator or a staffing manager who may not have experience executing experiential marketing events or may not be as well versed as you as you are when it comes to executing events within the industry you have to understand that everybody starts somewhere you didn't understand everything when you first began in the industry right there was a learning curve that you had to go through in order to get to where you are today so yes account managers and uh, staffing managers may not be a, as experienced experiential marketing and staffing agencies may oftentimes hire inexperienced account managers and staffing coordinators to you know work on various programs that you may be assigned to so be patient with that account manager be patient with that staffing manager and you know give them a chance to catch up and to learn you know all the tools and everything that they need to be effective and to do their job to the best of their abilities now granted everybody is not built to be an account manager a staff and coordinator i can tell you the, num the number of times that i have worked with account managers and staff and coordinators i've helped them you know a lot of times we do double duty as tour managers assistant tour managers where we play the role of doing their job the account manager's job and doing our job out in the field and that's going to happen sometimes as a tour manager make sure that you're always communicating and conveying any concerns that you have you may not be able to speak to that new account manager or staffing manager who doesn't have extensive experience but if you have relationships with other account managers in the experiential marketing or staff agency you know send them an email and just let them know hey i'm encountering some issues you know it seems like so and so may not understand how logistics of an event goes so i need your help i need your assistance to you know get them you know pulled in and looped in on what's needed so that i can effectively do my job as a tour manager or whatever position you may be you know working in Communicating that with an account manager or staff coordinator, which has been at the agency for a while now, will ensure that you do not step on anybody's toes, but you are still maintaining open lines of communication and letting them know, hey, I'm being patient with this individual, but I need your immediate assistance right now. So be patient with that account manager or that staff coordinator. Be honest um, and just you know come from a strength of compassion and give them a chance to fix any issues that you address you know to learn from their mistakes not on the account of it costing you your job i'm not saying that but just make sure that you communicate with them you know what your expectations are you know what you expect them to assist you with on a day-to-day -day, event by event basis and you know also applaud them if they're doing a great job as well so you can't always just talk about the bad you got to throw some good in there as well those are my top tips to assist you in ensuring that you build positive relationships with account managers and staffing coordinators and to assist you 
on learning how to deal with account managers and staff and coordinators in a professional realm. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I've been working, been in the lab, trying to come up with different content to create for you guys. So if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and comment. Let me know what would you like to see? What are some, uh, some different topics that you want me to cover in upcoming videos? And I welcome all your insight and all of your feedback. I appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting from YouTube channel and all of our Tour Life Chronicles. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe and hit that button to receive notifications because me and T, my hubby, we're on the road and we're executing a six month tour right now and we just been having a ball and just enjoying ourselves and all of the different experiences. We've been able to share it with everybody here. So thank you guys for tuning in. We'll continue to bring you guys great content and share our stories and our experiences from life on the road. And I'll continue to provide you guys with this great content because I am out here actually experiencing it. So why not listen or learn from somebody who actually is in the field doing it? So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate all your support. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, you are a brand within a brand. So you got to always represent yourself accordingly. Later. Talk to you guys soon.